Hey guys, Connor here at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the draw tight class 3 trailer hitch here on our 2020 Honda Pilot. Now as you can see, our draw tight class 3 trailer hitch has a really nice sleek hidden design once installed. The cross tube is tucked up behind the rear bumper here, so the only part we see from outside the vehicle is the receiver tube here, which is the part we need. Now draw tight has a really nice glossy powder coat finish, so it looks really good on the back of the vehicle as well. And another thing to note here is the trailer hitch sits up right below the rear bumper here. So this is going to give us the best ground clearance. That way we don't have any issues with any steep driveways or hills or anything of that nature. So we don't ever have to worry about the hitch scraping. Now another thing I really like about this draw tight trailer hitch is it has an included welded on trailer connector mounting bracket. And this is essentially just going to provide a really nice sleek look. We do offer these separately for the other hitches, but this one's included for you. So it's an extra part you don't have to buy. Our draw tight trailer hitch here has a class 3 rating as well as a 2 inch receiver tube opening. Now the 2 inch receiver tube opening is going to be pretty handy when we're choosing any ball mounts or bike racks. This is just simply because it allows us to choose from a much, a much greater variety of accessories. Now the class 3 rating is going to be useful when towing because we're going to be able to tow some of the medium even the heavier duty trailers. Now this particular hitch has a 6,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. And this is essentially what we can pull on the trailer loaded, as well as a 900 pound tongue weight rating, which is essentially the downward force here on this receiver tube. Now keep in mind, if we choose, this hitch is rated for weight distribution system, and that'll actually up our capacity to 8,000 pounds for gross trailer weight, but the tongue weight rating of 900 pounds remains the same. However, we do need to make sure we check on our owner's manual to make sure the capacity is not lower of the hitch. If it is, then that's what we need to abide by. Now another unique feature here, particular to this draw tight hitch, is that it has not only the ability to accept a standard 5 8 inch hitch pin, but also the ability to accept this J-pin stabilization device, which is sold separately here at eTrailer.com. Now this J-pin stabilization device is essentially going to help us with hitch rattle and any accessories moving around in here. Now how this works is, we take it here and insert it through the main hitch pin hole there, and we see on the other side here, we actually have a J-pin portion, which is going to go in the secondary hole. And this is gonna apply pressure to our ball mount and pin it against the inside of the receiver tube opening. And this is what stops the rattle. And then once we have the hitch pin in place, we can use our flange nut, secure that on the other side. And this device also has a locking knob for security. Now if we take a look at the bottom here, we will see our safety chain loops. These actually look really nice, they're really seamless and integrated into the hitch, and they don't stick out as much from the receiver tube. Now like our other options, these are going to accept the larger clevis hook type safety chains. And it's also going to accept the smaller S type hook chains, which we might find on some of our lighter trailers. Now we have a couple measurements here that are going to help you when you're selecting your ball mount or hitch mounted accessories such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. The first measurement is the distance from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening. This is going to be at about 15 and 3 quarter inches. And we're going to be using this when we select a ball mount so we can get the correct height in relation to our trailer. The other measurement we have is the distance from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outer edge of the bumper. That's going to be about four and a half inches and we're going to want to use this when we're selecting bike racks or cargo carriers so we can make sure that they do not come in contact with the vehicle while in the stowed position. The installation process for this draw tight trailer hitch is extremely easy. You're going to be able to do this yourself in your driveway with just common tools. You don't need any special tools save for a torque wrench and you don't need to lift the vehicle in the air. The best thing of all is it doesn't require any permanent modifications. It uses weld nuts that are already inside the frame and there's no cutting to this rear fascia here. That way we're not making any permanent modifications to the vehicle. Now let's show you how easy this is to do yourself. To start our installation today, the first thing we're going to want to do is open the rear hatch on our vehicle here because we're going to need to access the inside so we can lower the spare tire, which is then going to allow us to raise our hitch up into position. So there is going to be a button on the underside here we can press. And we can come in here. And there's going to be a few panels we need to remove first in order so we can get to the nut to lower the spare tire down. The first one is just outer panel here. We can go ahead and release the lever here, pull it out of position. Then we're just going to place it up here in the vehicle to get it out of our way. 
Now that we have the top panel out of the way, we can go ahead and work our way down to this center hole here. This is going to expose the nut for the spare tire, so we want to take our trim panel tool here and just pry this cover off. And then we have a rubber plug here, which needs to be removed as well. We can take our same trim panel tool or a flathead screwdriver, whatever you have on hand, and just sort of gently ease that out, making sure we don't damage the grommet. So this is going to expose the nut or bolt here, if you will, to lower our spare tire. Now in order to lower it down and turn this, there's going to be some tools we're going to need which are also located in the vehicle. And they're going to be on the driver's side here behind this panel. We want to simply remove this. And as you can see here, we have our two holes. We have our two tools here. That we're going to have to pry out from this panel here. Just take our trim panel tool again. Just lift it up to break those free. So how this works is we're going to place the socket end here over the bolt here that we removed the plug from. We're going to simply place that over there. And then what we do here is we take this other end with the sort of indented head here. And we're going to insert that through the hole here on the crowbar. And now this is going to allow us to turn counterclockwise. And this is actually going to loosen up the spare tire. We'll hear it break free down there. Now once we get it nice and loose, we can lower the rest by hand by just simply turning this crowbar here. Now we don't need to go all the way down, so I recommend giving it a few turns and then looking underneath to see how far down the spare tire has moved. Now as you can see here, we have the spare tire lowered already. We're going to go ahead and give it a couple more rotations to lower it more. It's basically just going to help with lining the hitch up on the frame a little bit easier. Now before we raise our hitch up into position, we want to take a look at the hardware included with the kit. This kit is going to come with six M14 hex head bolts as well as six matching conical tooth washers. Now what we need to do when we install these on the vehicle, we want to pay attention to which side the conical tooth washer is facing. When we insert our bolt in here, we want to make sure the teeth on the conical tooth washer are facing up towards the trailer hitch and not down towards the bolt head. Now that we have an extra set of hands, we can go ahead and raise our hitch up into position on the vehicle. It's going to tuck behind this rear bumper here. We want to make sure we don't scratch the finish. We're above the, the uh, spare tire here. And we're just going to need to get one bolt in started on each side to hold it in place, and then we can come back and get the rest of our hardware installed. Now that we have all our hardware snug and in place, we can go ahead and tighten everything up with our 22 millimeter ratchet and socket here. This is going to save us a little bit of work when we go back and hit everything with the torque wrench. Now that we have our hitch up into position, we have all our hardware snug down. We're going to go ahead and take our torque wrench here, and we're going to torque all six fasteners to the amount specified in our instruction manual. Now that we have our hitch in place and all of our fasteners torqued down the spec, our next step is going to be to raise the spare tire back up under the vehicle, which we're going to be doing through the rear hatch. Now that we have our hitch up into place, we have everything torqued down, and we've raised our spare tire back up, that's going to do it today for the draw tight class 3 trailer hitch here on our 2020 Honda Pilot.